be your wellness feature for today. Um, I am not only a uh, experienced wellness professional, trauma-informed yoga teacher and mindfulness teacher, but I'm also a nonprofit employee um, in the Miami area. I've worked for almost 10 years now in the nonprofit sector um, servicing our Miami-Dade community. So um, I have a big heart. You have a big heart. We're all here because we have a desire to be in service to our communities, but what we need the most right now uh, is to be in service to ourselves. So that's where we're going to go today is to really focus on ourselves with mindfulness uh, through mind, body, and through the breath. So without further ado, Jordan, I'll just go ahead and get started. Is that cool with you? That works. Take it away. Okay, great. Um, so just by uh, just a show of hands, and, or you can just chat in the box, just right in the box, just so I kind of have an idea of like how many of you have an, uh, an experience with mindfulness or meditation. Some of us may be like, yeah, I've done it quite a few times, or I've never done it, and I don't even know what this stuff is that everyone's talking about. So regardless of what your experience level is, um, it's important for each of us to really come to this together with a new and fresh mind. So it doesn't really matter if you've done meditation a variety of times or for the past several years. And it also doesn't matter if this is your first day ever sitting down to be quiet and be still and be guided into breath work and meditation. Um, this is the first time for each one of us, and I really want us to enter this with new and fresh eyes. So let me just kind of go to the chat and see. Um, lots of people, okay, people are saying that they've never done it. Hi, Patrick. Um, people with lots of experience, moderate experience, okay. My first time, I do it every day. Okay, great. So we have a full range of people. Um, and experience levels. So this will be something that's accessible to all of us, to everyone. And today my goal is to provide you with the opportunity to not only experience in this moment uh, a sense of peace and well-being for yourself, but also to give you a couple of ideas of how you can bring that into your life and into the real world when you're out, well, I was going to say when you're out and about, but right now, no one's out and about. So as you stay in and, um, and throughout this quarantine, you know, our emotions and our feelings are going to kind of rise and fall. And so we'll practice experiencing that together and give you some tips and some tools of how you can bring this into your regular and daily life. If you can get anything from me today, it's at least one form of breath work that you felt like a little bit better after you were complete than you did before you started. So with that, let's begin. Wherever you are, I want you to come to a tall spine. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting or in, on the ground or a chair or even laying down. Just let your spine be as long as possible. And let yourself come to a really easy full breath. Inhale through the nose and let it out through the mouth. So we'll do that a few more times. So inhale through the nose, fill yourself up. So allow yourself to notice where the breath goes and then exhale out through the mouth. Two more like that. You can even close your eyes. Inhale, inhale, inhale all the way. Open the mouth, exhale, all the way until you start to feel a little bit of decompression, a little bit of the energy settling down. One more breath like that. So inhale, nice and deep, all the way to the top. Open the mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders relax. Great. So find the regular pattern of breathing, and you can open your eyes if you'd like to. Uh, at this point, 
really just want to bring into focus the reason of why we need to breathe. Most of us that are on this call are already work in child serving organizations or in community service. We work with people or communities that might already be at risk or have experienced trauma. But what we also know about trauma is that we, as a result of servicing people who are involved with trauma, also take on some of that heaviness, right? And right now, our world is in the midst, we're in the midst of a chronic traumatic event with the coronavirus. So what we know about stress is that it compounds on top of itself with three main variables. One, if things are unpredictable. Two, if things are uncontrollable. And three, if the stressor is chronic and or happens over an extended period of time. So if you find yourself kind of starting to wig out every now and then, starting to feel anxious inside or unable to focus on your work or your job or your family or your task at hand, please note, those are very normal feelings as we all experience increased levels of stress. So this breath work, I love. I do it anytime that I feel that anxiety rising. It's called alternate nostril breathing. Very simple, very effective. So we're gonna take uh, your left hand will stay on your knee or on your thigh or somewhere comfortable to your body. Your right thumb is going to come to your right nostril, okay? I'm walking you through it first. Your two peace fingers are going to touch your, the middle of your forehead, your eyebrow, also known as our third eye. So we're going to activate our third eye and our intuition. We will work with the thumb and the ring finger, alternating, breathing in and out through each nostril, right? When we do this, this represents and creates more balance in our bodies so that we are literally realigning and resetting our nervous, our central nervous system so that we can be more at ease physically, mentally, and that we can feel more capable to work, um, to provide for our families, and to just be engaged in this new normal that we're all going through. So, um, I want you to relax your jaw and your shoulders. Even if this is new for you, please just have an open mind and an open heart. We're going to take our right thumb to our right nostril and our two peace fingers to our third eye. We're going to cover the right nostril and breathe all the way in through the left nostril. With our ring finger, you'll cover the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril. You'll inhale through the right nostril cover and exhale through the left. Inhale left. Cover and exhale right. You stay with this pattern of breathing. Letting the inhales and exhales be longer over time. Slowing down the breath. And you'll send your inner gaze towards your third eye, like you're looking from the inside out, right through the center of your eyebrow. And if you get lost in the rhythm or the pattern, just pick yourself back up and continue. Just a few more rounds. Mm -hmm. 
two more breaths, two more rounds. Let your right hand float down to the right knee. Let your left hand rest on your chest, on your heart, and your right hand come right on top of it. Bring your gaze to the third eye again and just sit for a moment. See if you can find your heartbeat. Notice any feelings or emotions that are surrounding that beat of the heart. And for these moments, just wash them away with the breath. Last one. To breathe in or out through your mouth for the last breath. Find a nice lift through the corners of the mouth for an easy smile. Just notice how you feel right now and kind of where you're at in your vibe um, or in your energy field. See if you can notice that without any judgment. So it's not about being a certain place or being mindful or being zen. It's just about being you. There's no wrong way to be you right now. There's no wrong way to get through this pandemic, to, to, to find your center, to express your emotions, or to really connect to the things that are there. For each one of us, we have things that are bringing us joy, immense joy. And at the same time, we're all feeling immense sadness and fear. So let yourself feel and notice what's there for you today. Because it may not be the same thing as what's there for you later on this evening or even tomorrow morning, right? The present moment is all that we have. Awesome. So that breath, the alternate nostril breathing is like one of my favorites. Like I say, I even will do it like before and after meetings or um, before tasks. And you can just do it as long as it takes for you to feel centered and focused and grounded. Um, how's everyone doing out there? If you could, if you could kind of assess for yourself on a scale of one to five, how you feel right now in this moment. Five being like, I feel amazing, and this is and and this is awesome for me. Or one is like, this doesn't feel, this feels uncomfortable, and I'm like unsure about what's going on. Just put that in your chat box for me, please, so I can just kind of see. Okay, so we've got some threes, we've got some fours and fives. It's great. Um, we're running the scale from three to five. All right, cool. Looks like we're an average of four. I'll take that. I'll take that. We're going to take any good positive vibes that we can get at the moment that we have them right? Because this too shall pass, right? Just like everything, just like the coronavirus, just like this lockdown, just like everything, this too shall pass. So we'll, we'll take it when it feels good while we have it. Um, yeah, definitely relax. Okay, cool. Me too. Um, this next one is this meditation or this is a we're going to do an activity about the things we all have so much that we want to give, even in times like this. Like I said, this is why we're in this work of community service. Um, we're going to do, I want you to think about, close your eyes and think about one or two things that you would like to give. Like when you interact with people, when you step into the World Wide Web now, um, when you are being yourself, like what is the one word or way that you want to give of yourself to the world in order to be a solution, that one thing? For me, right now, it's peace, right? For you, it might be joyful. It might be gratitude. It might be um, 
generosity. It might be money. It might be, you know, um, comfort. Whatever that is for you, we're going to give that out to each other. Kindness. Oh, I see someone saying peaceful, kindness. Yeah, you can type that in if you want to share that also. Hopeful, beautiful, wonderful. So we're going to share that with each other right now, and we're going to do that in three simple steps. So we're going to take our hands. We're going to put our fingertips together. Uh, fingertips pointing down, thumbs pointing together. Elbows are going to be out wide. This is a mudra for loving kindness, basically. It's a heart-centered mudra. So through our mouth, we're going to sip in air like we're breathing in through a straw, like this. Okay? So that's what it's going to sound like. When we inhale, we're going to inhale. Our fingers will come up to the heart chakra. Keep inhaling. We're going to bring our hands into what's called lotus mudra, as if you're holding a big flower, but instead you're holding that peace that hope, that smile, that courage, and you'll inhale all the way up, and you'll exhale. We're bending that out, not only to each other, but out into the world. So let's do that. Let's continue with the flow. Inhale, sip in the air. All the way up. Exhale. Through the mouth. Good. At your own speed, inhale. Lotus mudra at the heart. All the way up to the crown, to the top of the head. Exhale through the mouth. Sending that on out. Two more times. In silence and on your own. And just let your palms rest together at the center of the heart and find a nice, easy breath. Big inhale. And imagine as you exhale exactly what you just sent out being received by somebody all the way through the state, through the country, through the time zone, through multiple time zones, maybe all the way on the other side of the world, letting their impact, letting their connection to each other really be felt, being reminded that we are so connected and that we are so much more similar than we are different. Gratitude for these tools of mindfulness to share and to practice to keep ourselves sane, healthy, and at ease, mind, body, and soul. I'm so grateful. Thank you each and every one of you all who took the time to log in today. My name is Shante Hamer Kearney. You can find me on Instagram at Inspiration by Shante. Jordan, if you wouldn't mind maybe just typing that into the chat for everyone. Um, so at Inspiration by Shante, and I'm also the, found, the founder of Brown Goddess Collective, which is a wellness community for women of all shapes of brown. So we come together three times a week virtually for Brown Goddess morning meditation and breath work. Um, you can find that on my Instagram as well, Brown Goddess underscore collective. Please follow me, stay tuned, and if you want to stay more connected with me for more guided meditations, online programs or even yoga sessions, private course virtual, you can email me at inspirationbyshante at gmail.com. Um, I hope everyone has an amazing day. Thank you so much. I'm seeing um, so much love coming back. I feel it. I'm sending it back out to you. <sighs> if anybody has any questions, does anybody have any questions that you'd like to ask me? Um, Now's a great time. We have about five more minutes. I always like to end a couple minutes early. Otherwise, I just get, you know, all excited and keep you guys forever. Uh, thank you.
Um, many of you guys may or may not know, but I actually used to be a program manager for Common Threads um, in 2015, 2017. So I'm so grateful to be able to still be connected to the organization, to be able to give back in this way. Um, so grateful for Linda and Jordan for bringing me in, for asking me to participate. I hope that you guys stay grounded and well, and I look forward to joining some of the wellness seminars throughout the rest of the week with the other presenters too. It sounds fun. Awesome. I'm so grateful for you guys too. Again, find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, connect with me, send me an email. Um, just keep spreading the love. Keep spreading the love. Jordan, I'm complete whenever you are. All right, wonderful. Thank you everyone for joining us today and look out for our other opportunities coming up in the next couple of days. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks.